What's going on everybody? C4 here today, bringing you episode 24 of the Toronto Huskies Connected Franchise Mode. Ah, uh, I still, like, I, you know, it's been a while since I checked this save. It's been a couple days. Forgot how crushing a defeat that was against the Colts in the opener. And as per usual, we take four games per episode. Looking at our schedule, we have the Titans, Patriots, Panthers, and whoever the hell we play after that. Bucks. And the one game for sure, we're going to be definitely playing this one against the Titans. They are our big rival, especially after the, the terrifying game that Le'Veon Bell put up against us that we will never talk about again. Um, I am worried. Like, this style, like, this is what, this is the style I've committed to because I really want to, um, not so much speed this up, but I mean, there's only so much time until Madden 18 starts, and I want this to be resolved. But I also feel like the Sim is just going to continue to pick apart my team. I don't know why. This the roster is good. But, I don't know. But we're definitely going to play this one against the Titans week two. And then simulate the next three. We're starting off 0-1-1. But it looks like the Texans and the Titans also lost. And the storyline from last week's episode. I asked you guys, should I move Miles Jack from linebacker to safety? And it was honestly split down the middle. So I figure what we should do is try it. What's well, the worst thing? We'll try it. We'll do these four games. And if things aren't working out, we'll move him back to left outside linebacker. What we did to compensate this move is move Jared Davis, who was an 81 middle linebacker, to left outside. So we get that nice little juice up to an 83 overall. And Miles Jack was also an 83 overall left outside linebacker. And moving him to free safety has now bounced him up to an 88. A little bit worried about his coverage skills. Not as good as Brian Poole. But that, you know, maybe it's good enough. Maybe this is the kind of change that we needed to do to put this team on the right track. So without further ado, let's jump into the opening game of this video. And that is going to be us at home, home opener against the rival Tennessee Titans. Alright, so since there's no hidden knowledge that I'm using Play the Moments just for this franchise, we did the actual real thing with the Eagles. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna decide to play it this way, uh, just so that we're you know it's easier. So that's for us to talk, open up in discussion. So let's see what we can do. Pass knocked away. Second and ten. Six yard reception. Sam Darnold to Jordan Scarlett. We're gonna be picking up here in the third down. So it will be a little bit different presentation. Usually when we play the moments, I just sim to when we can go right up. But we'll kind of talk ourselves through it. Like I said, this here is a connected franchise mode that is built with the assumption that we're trying to have a sense of urgency. Of going our way through it, so why not do it this format? Almost picked off. Not a good pass at all. This is the 0-1 Titans against the 0-1 Toronto Huskies, by the way. So we're going to have to fourth that. Are we going to go for it? What are we, punt? Fourth and four. Uh, well, I mean, the reason why I gave you this play, it probably want me to go for it. It's probably the game's subtle way of telling me to go for this. So we have all our guys out here. Drop them back. Richie James wide open on the first down. He fucking comes behind the line of scrimmage and doesn't battle for the first down. Typical effort from this Huskies team. Oh my god. Maybe we need to fire the coach. Alright, they went first down. Six yard completion to Robert Woods on second down. Mariota knocks, uh, knocks a pass that gets breaking up by Jalen Ramsey. Another pass to Robert Woods. Three yard rush from Mariota. Man, Robert Woods, how about how about we cover Robert Woods? Third and one, and a five-yard rush from Le'Veon Bell. They're not really running it with Bell too, too much. Another five-yard rush. Why not just give Le'Veon Bell five yards per carry? You know, fucking worked the first time we played them. So we're coming in here at second and five. They're on the 15 in our red zone. We're going to need a bend, but not break. Stop. Go Fowler. Come on, Fowler. Get to the QB, Fowler. Oh, there we go. Good, good explosion there in the middle. And the fact that we haven't given up any big plays yet, maybe the Miles Jack transition to safety is working out better than we thought. It clearly was the storyline of the week. The, the media made sure that we talked about this. This is going to be a dramatic switch. How many times have you ever seen, you know, since I've been watching football? Oh my god, wide open. Cordero Patterson would never catch that in real life. Look, he's fucking holographic right now. See-through. Glitchy. God, it's, what a great game. The point was, how many times have you seen a linebacker move to safety? You've seen safeties move up to linebackers midseason, Buchanan, Mark Bayer, but never vice versa. Maybe we should have made that switch to Josh Harvey Clemens. He's not having a good year. All right. Down 7 0. Can't go out 35. Brent Curry knocks 71 yards. Yadley Thomas brings it for a touchback. So we start at the 25 yard line. Start on the drive with a 11 yard rush by Leonard Fournette. 
Another four-yard rush from Leonard Fournette. Battle of the two beastly running backs. Sam Darnold connects with C.J. Fedorich for 11 yards. Leonard Fournette gets stuck behind the line of scrimmage for minus three. Again, hooking up with Fedorowicz for 16 yards. Four-yard rush from Leonard Fournette, setting up a second and six. Three-yard rush for Fournette as the first quarter gets ready to come to a close. Are we able to get a playoff? Eight seconds, seven seconds left. We are in field goal range, so nothing too risky. That's all AR-15 on the streak. Throw it right to Robertson. There we go. The rookie out of Cal, Demetrius Robertson, makes the reception. 7-9 for 63 yards in the first quarter for Sam Darnold. Yes, you know, it's an all right spot to be. We're in the red zone, so we're going to take it over here. Let's get, let's get the power O going. Let's see what we get. Let's see what Leonard Fournette saying. Every time we play this matchup, I know we, like, even if the match, like, the mismatches are for us to throw the ball, I still kind of want to beat Le'Veon Bell. Just, you know, that, that seed has already been planted. Le'Veon Bell versus my Toronto Huskies. So how about we just have Leonard Fournette do the damn thing and have better stats. So I think right now he is sitting with slightly more rushing yards, probably 20 or so. Oh, B. Plus, Fournette's an 88 overall. He's a monster. Nine rushes, 38 yards. As we're trying to control the clock here a little bit, setting up first in goal. We can go slants again. Maybe Robinson. Who's our guy? Right here. Oh, it's going to be Richie James. We have Fedorowicz, the tight end, landing up at the top of the screen. Throw it right there for Richie James, who actually holds on to the ball after the very questionable lack of fight for the fourth down uh, conversion in the first quarter. But now we're right in C4 special territory to Mr. Leonard Fournette, who's changed the game, making the NFL allow him to wear the number seven. He goes in untouched. Great blocking on the edge. I think that was Farrell Brown from uh, Oregon, the Oregon alumni. As Leonard Fournette gets in with the C4 special make noise. Right. Fournette sack is good. It's time this ball game up at 7 7 apiece. Kickoff here from Austin Rico. Corderell Patterso. It's too long. Mariota sacked for eight yards from Cameron Smith. Getting his first start of the season at middle linebacker because of the Jared Davis switch. And Le'Veon Bell is taking over. Two plays, 50 some yards. A penalty, a six yard penalty against the defense. As they're up to her. How's that a six yard penalty? The fuck? Automatic first down? That was way more than six yards there. It looked like 60 yards. First and goal on the six yard line. Let's go on your mat. Let's come on. Boom! Miles Jack to safety. Bringing the lumber down. Five rushes, 22 yards for Le'Veon Bell. Someone in check. I mean, he does have that 30 plus yard reception. And he is the, probably the best player. I think when it comes down to it, the best offensive player in Madden this year, you, you might have to say, because they got rid of, sli well, slightly got rid of. As we jump offside there, the aggressive catch cheese, you might have to say it's Le'Veon Bell because he can do it all. He can run the ball, he can catch the ball with the backfield, screen passes, you can line up at wide receiver. Maybe it's like you may have tossed up between him and David Johnson, both of whom, who threw this Madden 17 season, have just handed me ass whoopings. All right, second to goal on the three-yard line. We got Shaq Barrett, we got Dante Fowler. Let's go Fowler. It's a run. It's going to be a run. There we go. Fowler brings him down for a gain of one. Setting up a third and goal. Let's bring the let's bring the heat. Let's see. Is Miles Jack going to be able to rush from this? Or who's the linebacker? We have Cameron Smith. He already has a sack on this drive. I think he's going to be my guy. Come on. All right. That didn't work out so hot. They hit the goddamn create a character as the IE. That's not even. He's a fucking tight end. He's the tight end from uh, Michigan. The young tight end. The freshman tight end from Michigan. The Samoan connection there. The Islanders connect. As the Titans go up 14-7. to Our defense struggling here in this game. Point extra is good. 14-7. to Here we go. Come on. Come on. First and 10. 10-yard penalty, Brandon Treff, the new left tackle, great. But then AR-15 catches a 17-yard, and then he gets hurt. Awesome. Five-yard rush for Leonard Fournette to get the first down, but very concerned about Allen Robinson right now, as he is our premier guy. Oof. Set up a third and five. Incomplete pass, didn't even give me the option to come in. Awesome. But look, good punt, setting them up on the two-yard line. That's just, that's just more yards. Look at that, that's just... Set him on the two-yard line. All that is doing is giving more yards for Le'Veon Bell to accumulate on this drive. Look at that. He already has, what, 30 yards on this drive? <sighs> Second and five. Five-yard rush from Marcus Mariota. They give him the first down. Third and one. 
Le'Veon Bell. Don't worry. We're not going to stop anything against the run. Another four yards. Just four yard your way all the way down the end zone, bud. Five yard penalty against David on Yamada. They're on the 41. Set up a second and three. For Daryl Patterson gets the first down. Oh, Stern Inches. Don't worry. The uh, Caribbean connection coming up. But there we go. David on Yamada getting a sack. Doesn't matter because Cordell Patterson grew hands and can actually make some plays now. So we're picking up on first and 10 on the 20 yard line. We use? That's, that's user Miles Jack because this can only go fucking wrong. Have you guys ever seen me user of safety? Hey, kind of worked there a little bit. All right. I mean, Mariota's been lethal 11 to 13, 135 yards and a touchdown. I mean, I guess we're kind of hoping that we can get a stop for a field goal. Try to get a quick explosive touchdown. I mean, we do we can throw streaks with the best of them. So if I can take over user control for the last seconds or so, maybe we could try to make some magic. Then again, I have no idea what the update is on Allen Robinson's injury. Antonio Callaway, the Florida prospect, lining out there. They got Robert Woods, Antonio Callaway, and Patterson. Let's be honest, even though Patterson sucks in real life, he usually is a solid get in free agency here on Madden. And we're just gonna. Oh, is that a legal throw? Illegal touching or whatever the fuck that weird scratch your back penalty? Illegal forward pass on Marcus Mariota. Ooh, we're gonna go ahead and accept that, making it fourth and eleven. Bend but don't break, keeping us in it. But we're ah, 36 seconds. We have to get some points. I'm not gonna let the sim. I want this. So we're gonna let them kick this shit. If they ever want to kick it. Darius Hayward Bay, I, I guess Darius Hayward Bay's brother is now backup quarterback in the NFL. So it's a 17-7 ball game. Hopefully it gives me the option to get some points. No, you're not. You just punted it. All right, we're loading up the third quarter. The Titans start off with the ball, because why not? Or no, it's us, isn't it? No. All right, four-yard rush from Le'Veon Bell. We got a pass deflection from Jack Jones. Actually did something. Doesn't matter. Cannot get a stop on third down to save our life. Mariota, it's a four-yard rush. For Daryl Patterson, set up a fourth and two. And they punted it. We actually stopped a defensive stand from our team. The Huskies trying to get something going here. It's been lackluster. Fournette getting the first down or close to it. Single-handedly getting the first down. For the opening drive of the second half, Fournette, we're just feeding Fournette here, I guess. Four-yard rush, second and six, gets ten yards. Here's all the people saying. He's not as good as Le'Veon, giving him some motivation. As Aubrey Jones gets in and sacks Sam Darnold. So now we're picking up here with a long third and 11. They don't, for some reason, they're not going to give him the opportunity, but let's just know Al Robinson is back in the game as he gets the long third down conversion. There we go. Now it's going to give him the opportunity. Third down, third and five on the 33. We're in scoring position. So, I mean, a, a, a field goal's not terrible in this in this case. Definitely want more than that. Let's go to the check down to Fedorowicz, who's been our main target today. 13 and 19, 130 yards for Sam Darnold. Very uneventful. Very very stagnant offense here. Open up with an 11-yard rush. Leonard Fournette gets us into the red zone. And why break it? Let's continue feeding Leonard Fournette. So even get his second rushing touchdown of the day. Send Robinson, AR-15 in motion. Tries to cut back, does a stupid spin move that never works. But still gets a gain of two. 22 touches for 100 yards and a touchdown for Fournette. He's had a decent game. Let's go empty stick. So that should be, uh, what do we get? Oh, yeah, of course we want George Scarlett lining up as wide receiver. That's exactly what we want. All right. We're bringing the fire. We got to throw that away. We probably actually could have stayed in that one a little bit longer. But let's throw that shit away. Let's go, What? what's the community? What are the top community plays here? Let's go curl flat. I mean, Fedorowicz is the guy. He's the money guy right now. So maybe we can find him in the back of the end zone. Maybe the rookie Demetrius Robinson. All right, no one wants it. Sam Darnold scrambling, dives for the first down, gets it to the two yard line. What effort from Sam Darnold to make it a first and goal. He's sick and tired of this under, underachieving. He says, you know what? We're not going to throw the ball and get a cheesy interception. We're going to stick with what we know. And that's feeding Leonard Fournette, giving him another C4 special. 
Come on. Gets to the outside. Two eat. Man, good blocking there from J.D. Moore. I know we ripped on J.D. Moore from episode one. He's having a nice game here. As Leonard Fournette gets in for his second rushing touchdown of the day to bring this game within three. Never kick the extra point. We get the kickoff. The ball is on the 25. Starting with a five-yard rush from Le'Veon Bell, which should end the third quarter. So they have a third and two. And Le'Veon Bell just converts it with ease as our run defense. He's just cutting through it like warm butter. Oh, my God. Robert Woods. How will we cover Robert Woods? There we go. Woozy Ace here on the play. Or Antonio Kyle gets a nice catch. And there's a pass behind the line of scrimmage to Patterson. A 10-yard penalty on Taylor Luan. All right. Showing some life. Showing some life. Setting up a third down. Third and 17 on the 39. I don't know. That might be... I don't know what the wind is saying. It's Toronto. The wind sometimes fluctuates to be crazy speeds. This could be all right. Especially if we can get a sack. There we go. Whatever. Whatever. Home to a field goal. Be a touchdown away from being in the lead in this game. Good stop there by Bouzier. And they convert the field goal. Dustin Hopkins, the former Redskin man. There we go. Brett Kern, DeAnthony Thomas return, covers it. Fedorowicz gets another 10-yard pass. He's the only guy we're throwing the ball to. Demetrius Robinson, the rookie at a cow for 12 yards. They're firing on all cylinders. Back-to-back -back completions to Demetrius Robinson. Fedorowicz again. We're only using two guys on this drive. Allen Robinson, AR-15, takes it into the red zone. Oh, I'm feeling good. Are we going to open up with a... What are we going to do? Are we going to run this? Let's run with a power O here. Keep it on the ground. Got to be conscientious. I think, you know, it's not a given that we're going to score, but if we do score, we want to have some time on the clock because you know they're just going to grind it with Le'Veon. It's all... Oh, that was a wide open gap. Fournette probably should have been able to punch that one in. Why not? Why not get the hat trick here of C4 specials? We need a win. We're not supposed to be pretty. Like, oh, look at that exotic play calling. No, we're going to go with this because it works for the third rushing touchdown of the game for Leonard Fournette. I don't even care, baby. We need a win. We don't need a flashy fucking bubble zones pass to Richie James. C4 special it in. Three minutes left on the clock. So even if they do something, we should have some time to equalize worst case scenarios. Fournette, excellent game in game today. It's been really Fournette and Fedora with show. So we convert to make a one point lead. Let's see what they can do. They start off with an 11 yard pass to Cordero Patterson. The game is on the line. Make a big stop here. Certainly. Actually, no. Let's play this game like a pussy because I don't want to. I want to at least blame it on the sim if we don't stop them. So they got a 15 yard penalty on Dante Fowler. Great start. 16 reception for Patterson. We got 31. All right, why not, right? Why not get a 31 yard touchdown to fucking Le'Veon Bell? All right. Well, this is exactly what I was saying. I, I was pretty confident that they were going to score. Now we got 247 to get our own score and win this game. At least it's in our hands. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last game was in our hands and we just fucking three and out against the, uh, the Colts. Let's start rocking and rolling. 10 yard completion there to Richie James, setting up a first and 10. Um, let's bleed the clock. Let's get it to the two minute warning here. A little corner strike. Oh, we have to. Fuck, we have to snap the ball. Um, all right, why not? Let's just throw it to Fournette in the middle of the field. As we get to the two minute warning, I think it's second and five. There we go. Second and five, two minute warning. Go curl flat. Oh shit, we gotta turn it off to the clock. That's usually when I'm not paying attention. I leave that shit on. And it usually burns us. They got some safety help, but maybe we can hit the deep pass here to AR-15. Or not, we take off with Sam Darnold, who scrambles and gets right up to the 48 yard line. Close to getting on the Titan side of the field. But before, well, let's go. Make sure we turn off. Let's get some normal temple here. Uh, we'll go wide receiver corners. Kind of reluctant to throw the ball up to anyone except to Fedorowicz. All right, we'll take off scrambling once again. Actually, decent vision there from Sam Darnold. Three rushes for 26 yards. We've been able to run against the Titans. I'll take that. All right, what do we got? What are the, What's the community say on these plays? What's the play? Right, let's go slants. We have to get into the end zone here. I'm just going to keep audibling and see if we can get Allen Robinson to beat... 
the man coverage, which oh, will float up to the fullback, who does it much like Richie James earlier on fourth down, does not want to fight and get some extra yards, setting up a third and one. Uh, let's go double in. Obviously, we are in four down territory. Arby Jones, who knew? He was Aaron Donald. Set up a fourth and eight. We're going to have to four verticals it. Why not lose another close game to a divisional rival, huh? It's a fucking mantra of this series, anyways. Let's drop back. Throw it up. Oh! Oh, let's go! Allen Robinson. I don't know who that was. Kevin Johnson just got burned. Allen Robinson coming up clutch, putting the team on the back for his 300th career catch. Exactly what we needed on fourth and eight. Thank you, Madden Gods. We got robbed in the first game against the Colts. Thanks for putting a bust ass corner on AR 15. Oh, too easy. Clutch play there from Sam Darnold. Exactly what we fucking needed. Don't, nothing dumb. Nothing dumb here. There we go. Holding on for the three point. Victory. We absolutely need that. That was a fucking clutch game. Defense did not play well. Mariota, 252, three touchdowns. But let's just look at our guys here. Sam Darnold, only one touchdown. But it was the biggest play of the game. The game winner. Running the ball, Fournette was a monster. 25 touches, 113 yards, three touchdowns. Receiving Fedora, which was our main target. Allen Robinson, four catches, 110 yards, and a touchdown as well. And on the defensive side of the ball, 11 tackles from Cameron Smith. Making his first start at middle linebacker. Uh, we got a tackle for loss as well. A sack from him and David on Yamada. But let's look at Miles Jack. How was the Miles Jack experience? Miles Jack is first start at safety. Six total tackles. Not bad. Six total tackles. I'll take that. I don't think he got like, really burnt. Then again, we couldn't really tell. But uh, I think we'll keep Miles Jack at safety for at least another week. As we get ready for a three-game simulation stretch where hopefully we can build upon this momentum. So coming off a very, very clutch, big time victory over the Visual Rally Tennessee Titans, we go into Foxborough, aka Gillette Stadium, against the 0-2 Tom brady -less Patriots. I mean, we have a contract negotiated in Jalen Ramsey. I want to wait just a little bit, and we have a trade off here for Chidobe Awuzie, where we have a second round pick from the Bucks, a second, fifth, and a sixth from the Bengals. But we're in a position right now, we have plenty of second round picks going forward, and Chidobe Awuzie is an 80, 78 overall corner. I mean, they don't grow on trees. He's a nickel. He gets valuable starting minutes for us. So I think we're going to hold on to him. And we'll wait just a little bit longer to negotiate with Jalen Ramsey. So let's see how we do against the Patriots. Hopefully, we can move to 2-1. and one. Hey! And we get the big-time victory over the New England Patriots here. 35-24. to 24. Defense did, again, not playing well. Not playing well. But still, we will take that over the Patriots every day of the week. Let's take a look at our stats in the day. Sam Darnold, good performance here. 221 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. So kind of right now, at least holding off the, the Boo Birds saying that they want to see Felipe Franks get some meaningful minutes here as a starting quarterback in Toronto. There's a running the ball. Big, solid game from Leonard Fournette. 97 yards and one touchdown. Jordan Scarlett is back up. 45 yards and two touchdowns. So running the ball on the ground. Very nice to see that. There's a receiving. We got six catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown from Allen Robinson. The rookie, Demetrius Robinson at a Cal. Six receptions, 48 yards, and a touchdown as well. Looking on the defensive side of the ball, nine total tackles from the rookie corner, Jack Jones. Eight tackles and an interception for Miles Jack. Immediately paying dividends already at a free safety. Didn't look too bad when we used him against the Titans and another strong performance there. We got three sacks from Shaq Barrett. Good on you, bud. Very impressive performance here in all facets of the game against the Patriots. It's moved to 2-1, and one, and we get ready to take on the Carolina Panthers. On our trip to Carolina, we suffered defeat, moving to 2-2 two and two on the season. 49-42, an absolute shootout. Again, man, what the fuck is going on with our defense? Can't, oh my god, bleeding like a fucking chick at time of the month. Look at the player stats here. Oh my god, Cam Newton, five passing touchdowns. What the fuck is this? Looking at the Huskies here. Not a bad game from Sam Darnold. Looks pretty terrible in comparison to Cam Newton. 294 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. 
Running the ball, Fournette, 16 touches, 49 yards, and two touchdowns. Scarlett also got in for another rushing touchdown. Uh, receiving, Johnson, six catches, 50 yards, five catches, 67 for Allen uh, Robertson. Look at that, Fournette was the workhorse. 104 yards and a touchdown there. So we got 150 total yards, three touchdowns from Fournette, doing everything he could to keep us in that game. Uh, defensively, Fowler, 11 tackles. Jack, 11 tackles. Wilson with 11 tackles. 10 from Jalen Ramsey. We got a sack from Fowler. A sack on Yamada. Two sacks from Dom Easley. Half sack each for Barrett and Cam Smith. And the lone pick went to Awuzie, but I don't know, man. This game here is the kind of game that makes you question the Miles Jack move to safety. Let's see what the fuck happened in Carolina. Guarantee one of these wide receivers had a terrifying game. 161 yards and a touchdown for Kelvin. 111 and 1 from Dorsett. Mike Williams, the rook, or Clemson product, 87 yards and a touchdown. Isaac Nata, a freakish, freakish, freakish tight end from Georgia. Five catches, 70 yards. Oh, my God, Virgil, Jesus Christ. I mean, we didn't get spanked, but anytime time you give up 49 points, it's a really, I mean, both these teams don't feel great about that performance. But uh, now we're sitting at 2-2 two and two as we get ready to take on the likewise 2-2 two and two Tampa Bay Buccaneers as we get ready for our bye week. Hopefully we can get a win in front of the home fans at the den. 3-2 and two at the bye is way better, obviously, than 2-2. and All right, after week five, I mean, hey, we will take it. Bad defense finally stopping the Bucs who are explosive with, you know, Jameis Winston. You got Mike Evans at wide receiver. 49-14 to 14 victory. We've been putting up points. It's just been more so our defense. Uh, that's kind of been uh, shitting the bed there a little bit. Uh, looking on the day, uh, what we got here? Four touchdowns, 230 yards, four touchdowns. No picks from Sam Darnold. A very strong performance. He hasn't really had a bad game. Maybe the first game against the Colts. Uh, running the ball, Fournette, 116 yards and a touchdown as well. Darnold had five total touchdowns, also getting that one-yard scamper in Tom Brady style. Oof. Six catches, 97 yards, and four touchdowns for Allen Robinson. Just made the Bucks call him daddy. Six catches, 56 yards from the rookie Robinson as well. Deep on the side of the ball, 11 tackles from Cameron Smith. We got uh, two sacks from Anya Mata, one from Tapper, and a half sack for Shaq Barrett and Mick Telvin Agum. Uh, for interceptions, we got one pick, Jalen Ramsey. Good for him to get on the pick sheet as we are now going into the bye week at 3-2, and two, which is where next episode will pick things up as we get ready for an AFC West stretch against the Denver Broncos and Chargers in Week 7 and Week 8. We're tied for first in the AFC South. We already have as many wins as we did last year, so hopefully it won't be as bad. But until next time, you guys get the weights. And then we'll see what happens in episode 25. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, C4 saying peace out.